What do you imagine when you think of Elvis Presley? Perhaps you think of the slicked pompadour haircut, the iconic sparkly white aloha suit, or do you remember his energetic dance moves that set America on fire? Elvis Presley was the embodiment of the American dream. Rising to fame in the mid-1950s, he became the biggest name in rock and roll. Despite his success in show business, Elvis Presley had a much different personal life. His rags to riches story has greatly impacted people not only in the US, but throughout the globe. From being turned down by a gospel singing quartet during his teenage years and recording his first song for just $4, to the journey of being the best-selling solo artist in the history of recorded music, his story is truly inspiring. Elvis truly was one of a kind and won the hearts of millions of people across the world. Not only for his musical prowess, but also because of his charitable deeds and efforts against segregation in Southern America. He often cited African-American musicians as his inspiration and left a lasting influence on the community. His impact was so immense that President Jimmy Carter said, Elvis permanently changed the face of American popular culture, posthumously. Quirky, energetic, and flamboyant, Elvis Presley is the undisputed king of rock and roll. So how well do you know the king? If not, then we have you covered. Today, we have brought some lesser known facts about him. But before sneaking into Elvis's life, take some time to subscribe to eCelebrity Facts and ring the little bell to stay updated with our everyday uploads. A Perfectionist Elvis was a hardcore perfectionist. By the end of 1955, he already had two dozen singles under his belt and had nearly 18 months of non-stop tour lineups. The hardworking up-and-comer quickly rose to stardom within the next six months following his famous yet controversial appearance on NBC's The Milton Berle Show on June 5, 1956. He introduced Hound Dog on The Milton Berle Show, where he stirred a massive controversy after leaving his guitar backstage and grabbing the attention of the audience with his energetic, exaggerated body movements. His exaggerated gyrations drove girls in the audience wild, but enraged parents and prudes throughout the country. The performance propelled him to eminence quickly, and Hound Dog went on to be one of his best-selling songs. Though the backlash didn't deter the promising singer, it wasn't acceptable for him in a positive way. Later, he went on recording the song for a total of 31 times, until he felt it had been perfected. Lavish Generosity Elvis was never particularly careful with his vast wealth, but what mattered the most to him was the happiness of people around him. Not only his musical influences, but also his gift-giving was legendary. Not one of Elvis's close friends came up empty-handed. According to some of the gift recipients, he gave such lavish gifts over the years just because he loved seeing the satisfied look on their face. Anyone familiar with him may know about his fondness of giving away Cadillacs, but Cadillacs were just a small portion of his gift-giving. Generally, he gave out something to anyone out of genuine love and admiration, while some reinforced the power balance in a relationship and some served as a way of apologizing. He even gave out a car to a maid working for his family, after knowing that she had to walk a mile from her home to get to the nearest bus stop. To his future wife Priscilla, he had given a puppy, which she had named Honey. He was buying gifts for her even a decade after their divorce. Perhaps because of his love of giving, he was fond of Christmas. From awarding his employees with a $1,000 Christmas bonus, to traveling with his own personal jeweler to have a ready supply anytime he felt the urge to give a gift, the king's generosity was unexplainable. He took his gift giving to new heights after handing out rings and his customized Gibson guitar to the audience at a North Carolina show in 1975. Not to be missed, he bought the decommissioned presidential yacht USS Potomac, and donated it to St. Jude's Children Hospital, which sold it for a huge amount. However, apart from all these, his talent, his humor, and his generosity was the greatest gift of all. International Performances Elvis only performed for a total of five times outside the U.S. 
all of these were done on a three-day tour of Canada. It would be the last time Elvis performed on international soil. There was never an explicit reason stated for this, but many assumed this was because of his manager, Thomas Andrew Parker, who was an illegal immigrant from Holland and could get deported if he ever applied for a passport. Military service. Elvis was among those who didn't take an easy way around. While he received the draft notice back in December 1957, he was already a well-known name in the entertainment world. He served in the Army for two years, until March 1960. While he had an option to take many comfortable Army jobs, he went to become a simple soldier. Starting off as a driver for the Army, he was later promoted to sergeant. After his release from military service, he was able to find a new fan base among an older age group, thanks to his Army career and releases of several ballads over rock and roll songs. Modifying Lyrics while performing at the New International Hotel in Las Vegas back in April 1969, Elvis decided to have a little fun with the sold-out crowd. After performing for 58 consecutive sold-out shows, he got in the mood to be funny and would change some of the lyrics while singing. His playful move of changing words ended up making the event a hysterical one. He changed, Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? To, do you gaze at your bald head and wish you had hair? An audience member in the front row lifted his wig showing his baldness as he swayed to the music. That particular moment kept Elvis laughing, making it hard for him to continue singing. Natural Hair Color Apart from the music of the cherished rock and roll legend, his style, hairstyle, and even the coif are fondly remembered by many. More importantly, his iconic pompadour and slick hair have always been a source of adoration and, of course, an Elvis trademark as well. Originally brown, his natural hair color darkened to give it a brown fade growing up. He later dyed his hair jet black. As much as the style suited Elvis, the hair color sharpened his facial structure as well. Acting career. Throughout his career, he sang over 600 songs and re-recorded over a thousand tracks. After earning initial success as a singer, he also appeared in 31 movies. He debuted in the 1956 movie Love Me Tender and starred in several hit movies, including Jailhouse Rock, Follow That Dream, and Blue Hawaii. While many looked up to him as an idol, when it comes to acting, Elvis wanted to be like James Dean and Marlon Brando. His acting was also well received by the fans and critics. However, he sadly couldn't spread his charm in the movie industry as he did in music. Which of the above mentioned facts about Elvis Presley did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments and also mention if you have any other interesting facts about the king of rock and roll. Before signing off, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel.